Mirabar traffic, Michael Lodge 6340 turns base, full stop, 17 Mirabar. Well, I'm just back from another mission. Why don't you come and join me now and watch what we've been up to. Enjoy this adventure. And maybe after you've watched this one, you might want to watch one of the other more than 300 videos on the channel regarding aviation and flying adventures with Crayonbox. When I was training to fly, all the way back in 2011, I remember thinking that one day, I'll say to my friends, I think I'll go flying tomorrow, and then thinking, how amazing would that be? I mean, who does that? Who takes themselves flying? And in whose plane, and what pilot? Of course, yours and you. Truly. And today, here we are, never to take it for granted. But with great responsibility comes many repairs and maintenance. I have just completed a 100 hourly service and today the planned flight has to be cancelled. Oh, I have yet another flat tyre. The culprit after a thorough inspection, I found three small thorns in the tyre tread. Who knows how long they've been there for? Maybe in the comments, you could tell me how you carefully levitate the front of your delicate fiberglass potted PM Quick R when it comes to removing that front wheel. Not too easy, in my opinion. And experiences, multi plural. And you'll love how I did the main back gear. I'll show you that too. Anyway, back to our story. So yes, I eventually got to go flying. The weather wasn't real sweet. 20 knots at 4,000 feet and 11 degrees Celsius. Shouldn't complain really. The forecasts weren't too far wrong either. But my recent service, including carburetor synchronization, had the engine running really sweet. Oh joy, scenery and fun, cloud surfing and the great sandy straits with the magnificent island water views, a Fraser Island backdrop. That's what we came for. Let's head back via the river, the one I'll talk about shortly, and start our slow gradual descent to the airport as we thaw out again. From four and a half thousand feet to 43 feet, the airport elevation. I'm only 10 nautical miles away. That's about 20 kilometers or 11.5 statute miles. So that was the engine test. Now for the landing. Two of them. The first a touch and go to practice my rough turbulent air skills before I did a second full stop. How did I go? Pretty good, I reckon. I walked away from it and the aircraft is, well, reusable. Well, the light's fading. The wind's dropping off, it's still quite breezy, but I've had a big day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna sign off here, so stay watching for the next video, and hopefully I'll bring that out soon. And hopefully it will be finding the source of the Mary River we flew all the way up a river to try and find out where it started. Where do rivers come from? It was about 200 to 250 kilometers of flying, and that is a big video. I'm about halfway through editing it now. So please come back, watch that one, and there'll be many more to come. 
We've got many videos coming up soon, including finding the source of the Mary River. But what would you like to see next? Turbulence, flying and landing in 20 knot winds, glide distance tests with engine on and off, coffee and planes, Mondurin for electronic flight bag workshop and navigation, whale spotting with crystal, temperature range and turbulence, how is that effective, camera setup and audio. Let me know in the comments and I'll get one ready soon. I've actually just gone past making 500 videos on this channel. Some of the early ones weren't really up to task, of course, but they're still historical in my mind. They still have meaning and you might like to go back and watch some of those. But the last couple of years, there's been quite a few that have been specially made just for your enjoyment. Thanks again. See you next time.